the great Tonewood debate. That's kind of funny. Um, it is a battle. It has been a battle for, well, as far back as I can remember. Is Tonewood real when it comes to an electric guitar? And while I have done my own research um, and testing, as a lot of you have, um, we still always seem to battle back and forth. But what can settle it? We know that Jim Lill did an amazing experiment and came to the conclusion that there's really not a lot of difference between wood tones in a magnetic field. And a lot of people clung to that philosophy. And a lot of people rejected that philosophy. And I think, personally, that there's a lot of cognitive dissidence. But... I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. In my experience, I believe that, well, the tone comes from mostly the pickups, the electronics, the height from the strings to the pickups, and that the sustain comes from, well, um, what the guitar is made of. Two different things, sustain and tone. At least, that's what I've always thought. But what happens when we test that theory, put it really to the test, and actually ask a sophisticated computer, such as AI, what the difference is, and is Jim Lil's experiment worth, well, the time that he made to make the video? Is it, is it a fact? Did he touch on something? What can AI tell us about, well, Tonewood? Is it a myth when it comes to electric guitars? Is it so minute that it doesn't matter, or does it matter significantly? Let's ask AI and find out. Let's settle this. Let's see what, what is science-based, what actually works. And I asked, the debate about tone wood and an electric guitar rages on. Number one, is the Jim Lil Tonewood experiment a good example to prove if Tonewood actually matters in a magnetic field? And number two, also based on your answers, please give me the facts behind the answers. Settle this disagreement in a scientifically provable fashion that is unmistakable. And I hope that we can do that today. I hope AI does that today. I hope we can settle this debate once and for all, although no matter what AI says or what science proves, I really think that a lot of people will have a hard time with the answer and that people may even be me. Maybe I will have a hard time with the answer. But let's find out what AI says. Ah, you're referencing Jim Lil's famous experiment where he demonstrated that the body of an electric guitar has minimal impact on tone, sparking heated debates among guitarists. Let's break down why a guitar can still have tone even without a real body. 1. The source of tone in electric guitars. Most of the tone in an electric guitar comes from a combination of the strings, pickups, and electronics, with the amp shaping the final sound. Here's why. Strings. Vibrations from the strings produce the initial sound waves. The material, gauge, and tension of the strings determine how they vibrate. Pickups. These are magnetic transducers that sense the vibrations of the strings and convert them into an electrical signal. Pickups are the main contributors to an electric guitar's tone. Electronics. Components like tone, volume pots, and capacitors further sculpt the signal before it reaches the amplifier. When Jim Lil mounted the strings and pickups on makeshift materials like sticks, the primary elements responsible for tone, strings plus pickups, were unaffected. The body's role. Vibration transfer. The guitar's body plays a secondary role in tone production for electric guitars, unlike acoustic guitars where the body amplifies the sound directly. Here's how. In electric guitars, the body serves more as a resonance transfer point. Some argue that denser woods, e.g. mahogany, might absorb more vibrations, slightly dampening high frequencies, while lighter woods, e.g. alder, allow for brighter tones. However, this effect is extremely subtle. Jimmel's experiment demonstrated that, even without a body, 
the core tonal characteristics remained intact because the strings and pickups weren't impacted by the material beneath them. Jim Lil's experiment. In his video, Jim replaced the guitar body with random objects like a plank of wood, and the tone remained surprisingly consistent. This proved that, that the tar's body primarily affects feel, weight, and sustain, but it doesn't drastically shape the sound. 4. Why guitarists argue about tone wood. The controversy boils down to perceived differences. Slight tonal changes, often psychoacoustic, due to body resonance, might matter in certain cases like sustain or feel, but they're less critical in the electric signal chain. Tradition and myths. The guitar community has long associated certain woods with specific tones, often passed down without scientific backing. In conclusion, an electric guitar's tone doesn't depend heavily on the body material or even the body itself, as Jim Lil's test highlighted. Instead, the pickups, strings, and electronics are the real tone makers. The guitar body adds some sustain, resonance, and aesthetics, but its impact on tone is minimal. This is why a bodiless guitar can still sound great. It's all about the vibration at the strings and how the pickups interpret it. It's a great lesson in separating feel from sound in the never-ending tone debate. Here's a clear breakdown of the relationship between tone, sustain, and the materials used in a guitar. One, tone comes primarily from the electronics and signal chain. The pickups, electronics, and amplifier are the biggest contributors to the tone of an electric guitar. Pickups. The type, construction, and placement of the pickups dictate most of the tone. For example, single coils, bright, clear, and sharp tones, e.g. Stratocaster. Humbuckers, warm, full, and fat tones, e.g. Les Paul. Pickup placement, neck versus bridge, determines how much of the string's vibration is captured, affecting tone significantly. Electronics. Tone and volume pots, capacitor values, and wiring influence the tonal shaping. Cheap pots or bad soldering can cause signal degradation. Signal chain. Pedals, amps, and even cables have a massive impact on the final sound. Without amplification, an electric guitar's tone is barely audible, and that's why most tonal variation comes after the signal reaches the pickups and passes through the signal chain. Sustain and vibrational feel come from the materials and construction. The materials used to build the guitar impact how the strings vibrate and how long they sustain. Here's how. A. Sustain body and neck materials. Denser materials like mahogany or maple absorb less vibration, allowing the strings to sustain longer. Lighter woods, like alder or bass wood, may absorb more vibration, leading to slightly shorter sustain. Neck joint. Set necks. Glued or neck through designs typically provide better sustain than bolt on necks because they transfer vibration more efficiently. Bridge and nut. The quality of the bridge and nut materials, e.g., brass, bone, synthetic materials, affects how vibration transfers between the strings and the guitar body, impacting sustain. B. Vibrational feel. Resonance. The materials and construction affect how vibrations resonate through the guitar. While this resonance doesn't significantly affect tone in electric guitars, it changes how the guitar feels in your hands. A heavier, denser body might feel more solid and resonate differently than a lightweight body. Fretboard and neck. Materials like rosewood, maple, or ebony contribute to how the guitar feels under your fingers, but have minimal tonal impact in electric guitars. Ender. Three, why the body has minimal impact on tone. In electric guitars, the string vibrations are directly sensed by the pickups, and the body's role is largely passive. While the body might influence sustain slightly, it doesn't drastically color the tone. Vibrations don't travel through the body to the pickups in any meaningful way. That's why Jim Lil's experiment worked. The pickups and strings remained the same, even though the body was replaced with random materials like planks of wood. Have four. Key takeaways. Tone equals mostly pickups plus electronics, amp, signal chain, sustain and resonance, mostly materials, construction, and hardware quality. The feel of a guitar is influenced by how it resonates against your body, but this is more about player preference than actual tone production. In practice, if you're chasing tone, focus on one, 
pickup upgrades or rewiring your guitar, two, experimenting with your amp and pedals. If you're chasing feel or sustain, focus on one, the quality of the neck joint, bridge, and nut. Ultimately, a great tone comes from your playing, supported by the tools you use, regardless of whether the guitar is a $200 budget model or a high-end Gibson. Pickups and electronics, these shape the guitar's signal and output, defining the sound. Player dynamics, the way you pick, strum, and fret, affects the tone. Tone is subjective and influenced by various factors, including the guitar, amp, and playing style. Great sustain, poor tone. A guitar can sustain a note for a long time, but if the frequency balance is off or the pickups are bad, the tone can still sound dead or dull. Great tone, minimal sustain. A guitar can sound fantastic with rich overtones and character, but the notes may not last long, e.g. hollow body jazz guitars. Conclusion. While sustain and tone are closely related and can influence each other, they are distinct attributes. Sustain is about how long the note lasts, while tone is about how the note sounds. Confusing them is natural because longer sustain gives you more time to appreciate and hear the tonal qualities of a note. However, a guitar's tone can be incredible even if its sustain is short and vice versa. In conclusion, yes, much of the debate about tone woods in electric guitars is fueled by the misunderstanding between sustain and tone. Many people mistake the effects of sustain for tonal quality, leading to exaggerated claims about how much the wood in an electric guitar affects its tone. However, the science suggests that the construction of an electric guitar, particularly the wood used, plays a much smaller role in shaping tone than is often believed. Here's the breakdown. Hash, sustain versus tone in the tone wood debate. One, sustain and resonance are physics driven. The construction materials, e.g. dense mahogany versus light ash, and how they interact with the vibrating strings primarily affect sustain and resonance, not tone. Denser woods may allow for slightly longer sustain because they absorb less string vibration, e.g. a Les Paul versus Strat, uh, but this doesn't mean they drastically alter the tone in an amplified signal. What people hear as tone may be prolonged sustain. When a guitar sustains longer, the listener gets more time to hear the harmonic overtones and character of the note, which is often attributed to better tone. This is why heavy guitars like Les Pauls are often praised for both tone and sustain, even though the tone is largely shaped by pickups, electronics, and amp settings, rather than the wood. Does tone wood really matter for electric guitars? Minimal impact on tone. Unlike acoustic guitars, where the body is the sound chamber and wood is critical, in electric guitars, the tone is primarily determined by the string vibration, pickups, and electronics. The wood contributes some resonance, but most of that influence is dampened because the signal comes from magnetic pickups. Key influencers of tone in electric guitars. Pickups, the type, placement and winding of pickups determine the majority of the tone. Electronics. Pots, capacitors, and wiring heavily shape the sound. Player technique. Your picking style, fretting, and dynamics have the most direct impact. Amplification. The amp and effects shape the overall output far more than the guitar's body would. Why do people insist tone wood matters? 1. Psychological expectation, placebo effect. Uh, people expect a difference when they know a guitar is made of premium tone wood like mahogany or ash. This expectation colors their perception, leading to the belief that it sounds better, even though most of the sound comes from pickups and amp settings. Confusion between acoustic and electric principles. The importance of tone wood in acoustic guitars is undeniable because the wood literally produces and amplifies the sound. This same logic is mistakenly applied to electric guitars, even though the physics are different. 3. Marketing myths. Guitar manufacturers have long promoted the idea of tone woods to market higher end guitars. While tone wood might matter slightly, its influence is overstated. 4. Association of weight with tone. Heavier guitars, which often use denser woods, tend to sustain longer. 
This reinforces the belief that heavier tone woods equals better tone when it's really about sustain. Scientific consensus. Most experiments have shown the tone wood in electric guitars contributes minimally to the sound heard through an amp. Pickups, electronics, and amplification dominate the tonal character. The differences in tone wood are more noticeable in an acoustic setting, unplugged playing or resonance against the body, but rarely translate clearly to the amplified signal. In conclusion, Most people are mistaking sustain for tone when they claim tone wood makes a big difference. While guitar construction, e.g. body weight, neck joint, bridge design, can influence sustain and resonance, these effects have very little to do with amplified tone. The real tone of an electric guitar is shaped by pickups, electronics, and how you play it, with tone wood playing a negligible role in the amplified sound. This is why some great sounding guitars are made from non-traditional woods or even alternative materials like carbon fiber or plastic and why expensive tone woods don't guarantee better tone in electric guitars. It's more about feel, aesthetics, and personal preference than sound. Okay, so there we have it. That is AI's answer to the tone wood question. Um, saying what I expected the whole time, that tone and sustain were two different things, and that people mistake tone and sustain. And they group sustain in with tone. Yes, you can hear it with the ears the longer the note rings out, but it doesn't change the tone enough where we can really comprehend it. Um, I know there will always be a debate about this, but it seems very logical that companies keep pushing tone woods to sell guitars. That's just my two cents. And if you like this video and you want to see more like this, hit that like button, share, subscribe, stop on back. Um, feel free to voice your opinions in the comment section below. Just keep it respectful. And always remember, it's rock and roll that makes the world do that spinny thing. Thanks, guys. Hope to see you soon.